Amy is enjoying a debtling after hey, that video. Amy. So appreciate that, Amy. Um, it's a it's an interesting whiskey. If, if you haven't had a debtling, I strongly suggest you do so. Now it's got, like I said, it's got a lot of malt impact on it. Apparently, not a lot of malt actually in it. But uh, mm. if you like it, you're gonna love it. If you like a Chattanooga, probably gonna love a debtling. You know what I'm liking tonight? What are you liking? I'm liking this Ben Holiday. <laughs> Soft red wheat. Well, that's all I've got, so don't drink it all. I need it for the video I was about to shoot with the oh, weeders. what? Yeah. I'll get another one, but like I, we've got Rick House proof. You can drink all that you want. I just I like need that one. bonded. I like this one, though. <laughs> I think you made Datling a must-have. Love the video. Mm. He did text me, and he's like, man, I, he was at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. I wished I'd have win. I didn't realize all those folks were going to be there, but um, he's like, yeah, I've been like, – 20 or so folks have just walked up to me and from your video, Aww. and I was like, I'm not used to being that recognized. And I was like, man, it is only the beginning. Yeah, that was an awesome video. I really hate that I didn't get to go on that one. That would have been fun. But he'll be at the spillway thing? He so will be at the spillway thing, yes. Yep. That I just, I love small distilleries. Okay. That, like, you know, really care about the whiskey. That's why I love Frey Ranch. I think I would love... To go visit Detling, I'm sure you'll go back at some point. Oh, I'm sure I'll go back at some point. We'll definitely do more picks with Detling. Um, and I, I think the audience, I think folks that are watching that video, like looking at the comments, we always get a bunch of hate comments. Now, this one hasn't branched out yet to get as many views, but um, all the comments seem to be extremely positive. So, Jay, that Detling rye. Now, we didn't get to try his full rye. We were on our way to try the full rye. When he got called to a trailer fire and had to go try to put out a mobile home. You should have just said five. Like, five. Try, five, try, I know. I, I was going to try to make it rhyme, but I wouldn't, you know, let's My not get too hokey. glasses are not doing well today. What, what do you mean? You can't see out of them? Yeah, they're, maybe it's your they're eyes. very blurry. <laughs> maybe it's your eyes, deal. Um, so we, we did buy a barrel of his high rye. It's kind of a transitory barrel where he was experimenting with more rye, and it is fantastic. That one's really, really good. So... I'm excited to get that one to y'all again. That one will be at the B team. He's applied for distribution in te to Texas, and uh, I'm hoping 30 days or so from now that that will be um, approved and, and he'll be sending those barrels over. Uh, he will be at the Spillway event, which we'll talk about here in just a little while. I'll talk about, I'll update you on all the places we're gonna be and all the things that are kind of set in stone for the foreseeable future here in just a few minutes. Um, but he'll be there. I think they'll have the, the barrel that Spillway picked will be there. And then um, he'll be there signing bottles, along with, I think, folks from Old Dominic and uh, Crittenton's. I think there's a small distillery in, in Louisiana. Like, they've got a ton of distillery folks there signing bottles and hanging out. So that's going to be a fun event there's April There's a small 6th. distillery in Mississippi that we don't know about? I think they're in Louisiana. I could okay. be wrong. I think they're, but yes, there are lots and lots and lots <laughs> of tiny little. I mean, I I think Detling looks like Jack Daniels compared to this distiller from what I've heard. Like they are just, you know, getting it done, okay. which That's I appreciate. I like the good. folks that are just getting it done. Man. That'll have to do, but that's not good. <sighs> I'm, look, I'm interested. One thing I'm interested in, we've got a Crittenton's Double Oaked coming. Now, I've got a Crittenton's Double Oaked. And I just thought it needed more oak. It did not have enough oak on it. And so I was like, we need more oak on this. And he's like, well, that one was only in the second barrel for six months. I've got one that's been in there two years. So we got one of those coming as well. Looking forward to that. What are you drinking? Oh, I am drinking a little Woodford Double Oak store pick here. Chris's Liquors. I think this one mm. came from Austin, Texas. Okay. And it is delicious. So we... Um, it's got a little got a little oak on it, that's for sure. Will tends to like these oaky ones, and he was here this weekend, so we had it out. Mark McPherson with the super chat. What are your thoughts on wild turkey barrel proof? I'm starting to learn wild turkey isn't my thing. Interesting. Um, I really like the I like wild turkey 101. Uh, if by barrel proof you're talking about uh, rare breed, I'm a big fan. Do you have you you've had rare breed? You just don't recall? I don't know. You want to try it? Sure. All right, we'll try it here in just a second, Mark. Uh, Joe Janning, have you had Parker's Heritage Double Barrel Blend? I personally enjoy it. Um, I have not had the Double Barrel Blend. The only Parker's I have is the, I think it's the rye. Is it like the heavy char rye? 
I, I don't know, it's out of this world. Out of this, I, like I'll buy another Parker's if I find one at a reasonable price, just based on that. Portable. Damn, man, I'm loving this double oak though. Oh, it's got a lot of oak now. It gets better though. The more you drink it, the more that oak Ooh. starts to tame down a little bit, yeah. or at least your palate acclimates to it. I get orange and like. I see where you can get that. Like yeah. a creamsicle. Mm -hmm. We have a craft distillery here in Louisiana called Leses Verses, a three-man operation that's pretty good. I'm bringing a couple bottles to Spillway. I'm wondering, they've got a small um, distillery from Louisiana, I think, that is going to be there. I'm wondering if that's what that one is. Buck, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe so. They may actually be there. Uh, I know they bought a, some whiskey from them or some something from I don't know if it was bourbon or whiskey or whatever, but... They bought something from them so that they um, they would have something there to sell. Oh, total butterscotch. Total, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still get that kind of vanilla oak, I like but I, that. I think it's a ton of butterscotch. On I it like for sure. that a lot. Yep. Giovanni says, just clicked in the stream and you're drinking what I'm having right now. Well, great minds think alike. <laughs> There's nothing. What'd you give me an empty glass for? I just passed you, like, I just passed you my glass lights. and I took your glass. What the heck, Jim? <laughs> Making me look like a fool on stream. Yeah. I thought there was like one little sip left because I saw it and I thought that's what you slid no, back over I already here. finished that and you oh, told me not to mercy. drink any more of it. So. Yeah, don't drink any more of that. Don't drink any more of that. Amy wants to know, are we coming back to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, maybe. I think so. That That's the plan at this point. I mean, they gave us media passes. They would have to give me media passes again. Um, but if they did, yeah, of course. Calvin says, did we go to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival? They had asked us to come down. We had agreed to come down. And then they told us not to come down. So then we didn't come down. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how that went. So maybe they, they're like, hey, we got some stuff going on. We can't deal with it. Maybe next year. And we're like, okay, next year then. But it was the plan up until like last Monday, I think it was. Yeah, I'd already booked rooms. Yeah. So, oh well. Ben G hitting the Bourbon Trail in September. Any favorite mm. distilleries I should add to my list? Dude, all of them are fantastic. Make sure you venture off and try a few small ones. I, I haven't been through That's all the of them yet. We like we, we want to. Our our goal is probably not going to happen this year because we're having to go to so many events and bourbon hunts, try to get all the states done. But next year, we're going to try to like spend two weeks on the bourbon trail, just going to as many of these and as we possibly can. Maybe we just can. take a bunch of patrons with us and just have fun. Maybe I don't like I don't I don't, don't y'all might have, that works. might have to pay your own way. Oh yeah, but uh, uh, yeah. Did you hear? of Detling Whiskey before the Bruzel video. 80% said no. Okay. And 19% said yes. So well, there you go. You've well, introduced Detling to... Well, I mean, he's only 80%. like pretty much in That's Alabama right. and Mississippi as far as I know. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't, like, he doesn't sell a ton of whiskey. He's sm he's smaller um, than, than uh, Crittenton's as far as, like, how much they produce and how much they sell. So <laughs> definitely the smallest distillery we've done business with thus far. Yeah, Grant, like your to-do list isn't long enough. <laughs> Add what to Add the to-do list? Our bourbon. Oh, yeah. Um, Next year, though. Next bourbon year. trail. Next year. Patron trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we love we, you, Grant. We want to do you. those types of things. <laughs> we want to do those things where, you know, can we go up there and rent a place and just, can we work with some of these distilleries to maybe set up tours and different things that are just for us and our, you know, and you know, for y'all. And so can we do like special events? Uh, we'll see. I think SB, have you tried the Burnham yeah. Weeded Whiskey Barrel Proof? Yes, I've got it right, it, it was sitting up here on the bar. It's like literally right over there by Jill. Um, I like it. I think it's really good whiskey. It says how many different types of whiskey do you have? Uh, different types? I don't, yeah. Not many. Not many. I mean, I have Irish whiskey. I have scotch. I have bourbon. bourbon. I have Canadian whiskey. I have rye whiskey. And then there's flavored crap. We'll just put all flavored crap in one one thing. Tennessee whiskey. So are you saying all flavored is crap? Because you said flavored crap. I didn't say that. Okay. I'm just saying. That's what you said. But okay. No, not all flavor. Like flavored stuff's not whiskey. 
to me. Like okay. it can be flavored whiskey, but it's not like it's like you're just going for a different thing. It's a mixed drink in a jar, right? And I'm not talking about finished whiskey. I'm talking about like peanut butter whiskey, right? Or the moonshines. Technically, moonshine can be whiskey. Um, so it's, I don't, seven, I'm probably missing a couple, eight, nine different types of whiskey. I'm sure there's some American light whiskey around here somewhere. No Japanese? Uh, do have some Japanese whiskey, Dude, you know what I, and I then I have some. I have the whatever that is. I don't even know what that stuff from. Uh, is sake from, Japanese whiskey? That's gonna be sake is gonna be like wine. a wine. Yeah, okay. I had that last night. Jeff is Detling in stores in Mississippi and Alabama coming down from North Carolina to Spillway. I, I mean, just buy it at Spillway. They're gonna have their barrel pick there. So if you're gonna come down, just buy it there, and they'll have some Detling for sure. And they should have their barrel that they picked. Um, and Seth will be there to sign, sign it. Sign it. Yeah. So Chris asks, um, and Owen says, Owen says we don't listen. I don't listen because he just says vodka, 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 vodka. I see three posts from vodka, and so do you have vodka? Yes, I have vodka. So is that? I mean, is that what? Is that what you wanted? Is that? that did I listen now? I mean, first we, of all, we it's own not vodka, listening. but we don't I mean, have you, a vodka, bruisal vodka. Like, I, yeah, and if you just want to be an asshole, you should ask, do I read? Because I can't hear you because it's text. But I'm glad you could spell vodka. But we, and we, vodka sucks. We don't really like vodka. We're not vodka. vodka people. Like, who wants whiskey made out of potatoes? That's not good. Well, some people I mean, technically like vodka, not whiskey. and that's fine. Vodka is made to not have any flavor. Like, literally, they make vodka... To not have any flavor because it sucks. It is just like you have something with some flavor and you want to add alcohol without adding any flavor. No, if you like vodka, that's perfectly fine. We just don't like vodka. Yeah, just probably not the stream for you. Yeah. Probably not the stream for you. But I'm sure there's a vodka stream. Guarantee you out there right now, somebody's talking about vodka. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Probably should find that one. Uh, good evening. What do you think of Penelope Rio? Uh, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Um, it is Amberana and honey, and I like honey. I don't like Amberana, so not good. Do you have a Mr. Sam tribute in your collection? Oh, no. No, no, is no, that, no. I'm not that lucky. Is that good? Uh, that's a super expensive bottle. I don't know if it's good. Like like any Buffalo Trace overhyped nonsense, mm. it's good. It's not worth you know, a good used car. Uh, how much do you know about good times? I know that I've got, I don't know, 12 or 16 bottles of good times sitting over there. Like the small, um, I don't know what size they are, but they're really, um, well, I mean, I say over there, I think they got moved to over here. We've got a ton of good times. We've been having some conversations with them. I've got a lot of their finished whiskey. They sent me all sorts of weird finishes, man. Neapolitan, like all sorts of weird things, creamsicles, and I'm going to take them to the team, Grant, Seth, Will, we're going to try them at Spillway, maybe not at the event, you know, but like we're going to get together and try them and see if we like them, so all sorts of weird things. Worst bottle on the shelf behind me, Ooh, you're talking about middle shelf, I'm going to limit it right here, middle shelf, RD1 Amberana finish, probably... RD1 probably has one of the best Amberana finishes on the planet. It's still awful because it's Amberana. So no hate on RD1. Um, outside of um, that one, ugh, that's tough. It's tough outside of that one. Did you forget the rare breed, John says? Did I forget it? What yep. do you mean by forget it? Did you forget the rare breed? I think we were going to try. try. You were going to try it. Get it? Um, yeah, we can. Just going to try it here in just a minute. Yeah. Oh, wild turkey. That is cash strength wild turkey. Is World Whiskey Society bourbons any good? Um, I had a I have a World Whiskey Society uh, Japanese Mizunara oak that I paid a fortune for. It has like a cool samurai head on it. It was like the second best finished whiskey in my lineup about a year ago. Now um, we did a blind. We tried like thirteen or fourteen. Finished whiskeys, and it came in second. So it was pretty good. I enjoyed a pour that leaves a long aftertaste. Proof doesn't matter. What would you recommend? Thanks for the great content mm. and the hard work. 
Man, it wants a serious, like, have you had wood for double oak? Uh, have that, you had a wood for double oak yeah, store pick? That is amazing, like I was going to say. That. Pretty freaking good. Cameron asked me, how do I feel about the rare breed? I like the rare breed. I think the only thing that's, like, holding me back from saying that I really like the rare breed is I have, I'm, I'm sitting here contemplating it. I'm finding myself comparing it to the wood for double oak, and I just am in love with that. God, that's so good, though. It is. It's a different thing. I think the wood That's a dessert. Exactly. That's it's a sweeter, dessert. And maybe that's what yeah. I'm... This is a whiskey. That's a dessert. That's... Th and that's where I'm leaning... T uh, this yeah. is really good. I'm enjoying it. I, I really like it, but in my brain... But you're comparing a, you're comparing a ribeye to ice cream. Well, I prefer ribeye, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> but I'm just really leaning toward the Woodford... Double oak tonight, but the rare breed is very, very, very good. Like I, I really do like it. An opinion on Bowman Brothers? Shout out from South Carolina, old chum. I love the Bowman Brothers. We've got the was a single barrel Bowman um, that was out of this world. We tried a couple of weeks ago. Really good stuff. Oh, someone asked. Oh, Sam said, "Have you ever had anything from Company Distilling in Townsend, Tennessee?" Well, we bought a company. We bought a company rye, seismic rye from Company, in the Tennessee hunt, and it will be featured after that video comes okay. out. I mean, I love Townsend. I was going to say, if we haven't, we should go back there. Uh, the I mean, we go back because I Cause the rye is really good. I tried the rye so at a bar before we we had a little impromptu meetup at a um, cigar lounge in Knoxville where I tried it and then we bought it and it's pretty freaking good. Um, I don't think I've had an old pepper bottle and bond. I did have a, I have an old pepper bourbon. I had an old pepper decanter. My bourbon I had, I didn't really like. The decanter, really good from old pepper. So if you can find that like pineapple-y looking decanter, really good stuff.